And now, your first alert five weather. And the little storm that could, especially out across the mountain valley. Some spots here are picking up as much as 5 to 10 inches of snow over the past 24 hours. Cripple Creek measuring it at 4 in southern Teller County. Manitou Springs, our friends out here on 3 and a half inches. Canyon City, a bit of a surprise. I thought we might see an inch, maybe two in parts of town. We got three inches. Reports in the springs between one and three in Pueblo, just under a half an inch. Now, all local winter weather alerts, the winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings, they've been allowed to expire this evening here in southern Colorado, but just to our north in the plains, still under winter weather advisories and even winter storm warnings through late tonight. Some of those don't expire until early tomorrow morning. All because of this large, complex weather system. And folks, this thing is a beast. Still bringing snow tonight to the northern Rockies as far west as Idaho and the Wasatch Range in Utah. And check it out on the eastern side of the storm. This is the warm sector. We're actually getting a fairly decent severe weather outbreak across the central and southern Mississippi Valley on this Monday night. Now, Monument Hill still dealing with that low-level moisture. Even a few flurries out there, reports of frozen fog. Roadways could become a little bit icy in some spots. And Visibility down around a quarter of a mile in some areas out there. So if you're driving up over the Palmer Divide tonight, just be careful, especially through about 8, 9 o'clock. I think after that, visibility should improve some. Right now in the springs at our Rock Ribbon Studios, we are cloudy and in the upper 20s outside. Winds a bit breezy out here. They've certainly picked up over the past couple of hours. Also getting some of that stronger and colder north wind in Pueblo, where your current temperature is 33 degrees. And in La Junta, we've seen some rain. We've seen some snow. And now finally that snow beginning to stick. If you look closely right here, there's a light. You can see some of the flurries and flakes out there. A little bit of accumulation showing up on some of the cards. Thankfully, the roadways right now are wet as both the air temp and the surface road temps are slightly above freezing. Take a look at Tuesday morning. The snow should begin to taper off just around 9 to 11 o'clock for the eastern plains. Still some snow expected, but on the light side for the mountain areas tomorrow. And the model's fairly consistent and bringing one little push. We get a little ripple in the atmosphere and maybe some light snow from Monument through the springs, possibly into eastern parts of Fremont County as well. Not expecting much in the way of accumulation. Maybe a light dusting to a few tenths of an inch, and that would be about it. I've kept Pueblo dry for now over the next 24 hours, but in the springs, again, a few passing flurries or an isolated snow shower can't be ruled out, but the bigger story will be the cold, a high of only 33 degrees. So large, low pressure system is going to move east, so that storm winding down over the next 12 to 24 hours, and that allows for high pressure. That's our fair weather maker to build in from the southwest. If this thing was overhead, it would be much warmer, but it stays a little bit far south to bring us any significant warming, but you'll like the forecast late this week, especially if you like those temps to go above the freezing mark. I've got your Friday numbers into the 40s and 50s. And that'll be a far cry from what we're seeing tonight. It's already cold. It's only going to get colder with many of us dropping down to the teens here in southern Colorado and highs tomorrow in some spots. They actually stay below freezing, especially for areas above about 6,500 to 7,000 feet. So there's the reference to a few flurries tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Again, little to no accumulation, but that high of 33, it's more than 10 degrees off the average high for this time of the year. Here comes that warm up and then we get a little bit of a cool down from a weak cold front that drops in late on Friday. Looks dry for now, but we'll see some breezes by the end of the weekend. For Pueblo, I keep us dry Tuesday. In fact, dry skies over the next seven days. Fairly typical January weather, aside from any snowfall in the forecast, highs running in the 40s and 50s. Canyon City, I've got 30s on Tuesday. That's your cold day after that. Things warm up, and my pick of the week would be Friday with a high of 52. And in Woodland Park, just a few flurries out there tomorrow, maybe some light accumulations into parts of Teller County, but we replace those 20s with 40s by the time Thursday and Friday roll around. Diane?